Hey, this is Voxtron 0.2.1, which you can download if you are a Voxtron customer or a humble Voxtron debut customer. I uh, wanted to show you some of the new features and how to use them in the level editor for anyone who wants to make some rooms. This level is Twisty Castle, which you can get from the BBS, and it demonstrates a lot of the new stuff, so you can you can uh, download it and have a look to see how it works. I'm going to take care of these guys. I can't play and talk at the same time. Yeah, this version has um, two-way doors, so you can... You can have freely explorable levels rather than the linear ones in the version four, and that was a that was a one-way door, so you can you can set up little kind of sub rooms or maps or whatever. I didn't want to release a new version without any monster, so I added this elephant who sends out lots of um lots of bullet hell patterns. He sends out more than one pattern, but he's just sending out the most annoying one because I'm recording. Alright, let's uh let's design some stuff. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is make a couple of rooms um that you can wander around and a couple of locations that you can go into and fight some monsters and then when you've finished the two locations a uh, an extra location will pop up which has a boss in it. So first of all I'll make a couple of rooms that you can walk between. So this is kind of like the map area and you know usually you wouldn't have monsters in the map or something like that. Um, I'll put a starting position. The the starting actor, like the player actor, it has a parameter called from room and uh you can use it to indicate which room you're coming from for it to use that starting actor because you can have more than one starting actor in the room. And because um because this is the first room, it has no meaning, so we'll just set it to zero, which is the same as the room number. So, yeah, now I'll make another room uh, that we can walk into. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know what this is. Okay, so this is room zero, and this is room one. And... I'll put a couple of archways in. Whoops. Archways don't actually do anything by themselves, they're just props. All these ones are anyway. Um, okay, so now to put on some doors. There are three types of doors. The first one, the pink one, is the same as the old versions of Voxtron, um, which they just send you to a room, and that's all. The the green ones are two way doors, which you can use in use in pairs, and they uh, if you use two green doors, you don't need to specify the um, the start the uh, starting location of the receiving room because it's implicit by the fact that it's a two way door. So it's a really common case that you have two um, two doors that you want to um, send the player between. The the blue room, which I'll show you in a minute. It's the same as the pink one, except that it can only be used once. So it's useful for doing things like entering locations where once the player finishes the location, uh, they're going to make some kind of progress. Okay, so I'll put a two-way door and set the go to room parameter to room one. And then in room one, I'll do the same thing, except I'll send it back to room zero, which happens to be the default number anyway. Um, so, okay, so now we have a two-way door. So let's put some locations into room one. And I'll use the blue doors for this. We'll 
we don't have anywhere to send the player to yet, so let's make some rooms. Um, we'll make a snowy room. And I'll put in a starting position. And a lava room, I guess. Use the cursor keys to fine tune the position. Um, yeah, you need to start the player somewhere safe in a lava room, otherwise, they'll just die <laughs> as soon as the level starts. Okay, so now this door sends us to. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so this door is going to go to room 2. And this is going to go to room three. Um, okay, so this is room two. Let's put some monsters in. Some tiny one. And we need somewhere to get back, so I'll just put a regular door in. Um, which goes back to room one. And it appears when there are no monsters left. So use the no mon trigger. <laughs> Oops, I wanted snow. Yeah, that's better. And I'll do the same for um, this lava room. Put in a red grunt and a door that appears when there are no monsters left. And it goes back to room one. Uh, the other thing you need is, so when we send the player back, we want to specify um, where the player is sent back to. So this is where the from room parameter on the uh, player actor is useful because uh, so this this door sends us to room two so we can say we want to be sent back to this point when we come back and the same for coming back from room three. So <laughs> when I finish this room I'm back at the place that I specified. Okay, good. Um, so, imagine that those two locations were, you know, really long, tough levels, and we had finished both of them, and now we want to give the player uh, one more door which takes them to the, the final boss. Um, to do this, we can use a normal door. Um, it could be any kind of door, but usually it's a normal door. Um, and we'll send them to room four. We haven't made the room yet. I'll quickly make it. Okay, so this is the bus, the bus room. Uh, I'll make it look bossy. And put in a couple of triox. And maybe, uh, yeah, I'll start the player off on the left-hand side, seeing as we entered from the right. And same deal. I'll I'll put an exit in which finishes the level when there's no monsters left. So no mon. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Um. Okay, so when when we make this this boss door, we want it to appear when the two blue doors um, have both been collected, so we can use the no item trigger. If um, if I wanted it to appear when one particular item had been collected, then I could select both of them and Shift G to group them, and then it would appear when when there were no items in the same group. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, you don't have to just use blue doors for this as well. You can use um yeah, I'll, I'll just digress for a second. So at the moment the Voxtron engine still can't handle permanence. If you um if you change a room and then come back, it resets. So 
it's it's true as well for collecting objects. You know, I can I can collect these apples as many times as I want. Um, so what you can do is, on items that you only want to appear once, you can select the collect once field and uh, enter one. And it will remember just for those items. So it's it's kind of the same as um, blue doors. So w when you use the no item trigger, it also applies to these um, regular items which have the collect once thing turned on to one. So you can use it for things like if you look at uh, Twisty Castle, there's a room with um, there's a room with three keys, and when you collect the keys, it creates sections of the bridge, and that's uh, that's how that works. Okay, so now we have um, this this door, which is also triggered when there's no blue doors left. Uh, and yeah, that should look like a whole level. So let's try it out. I'll, uh, I'll finish these rooms in a different order this time. And now we get the boss door. And some tree oaks. And the end level exit. Ah, okay. So to specify that it's the end level exit, we need to go to room negative one. Yeah, so there's a lot of tricks that you can do with, um, hang on, let me turn this on, with uh, different combinations of doors and triggers and props and use once items, but that was basically it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll catch you soon.